Hey everybody, it's Kevin Carr, and this is going to be a brand new segment called Slide in the DMs, where I answer your questions that you put in my inbox every single week. All right, so the first question is from Vin in Brazil, and he says, I have a full training schedule all day long, but I want to start putting out social media content and put together a training course like you. How do you manage your schedule and how do you fit all these things into your day? The number one thing I can recommend is be intentional with your time. If you're not currently using a planner, like a passion planner, or using Google Calendar and intentionally scheduling every minute of your day, then you're definitely leaving some time on the table and you're probably not being as efficient as possible. So what do I mean by that? You have to sit out and schedule your weeks, your days, your months down to the minute, right? So for instance, when I get up in the morning from five to six, I do my weekly and daily planning. I think through my day, I write things down. From six to two, I'm training clients. From two to 3.30, maybe that's my non-negotiable workout time. From 3.30 to six, maybe that's when I do all that creative work. That's when I work on my social media content. That's when I write. That's when I work on my training course, right? That's just an example. But notice how every minute of my entire day was planned out. Even my social and family and personal time. Maybe from six to 9 p.m., that's non-negotiable. I'm not gonna let any professional things sneak into that, right? I'm protecting my energy and I'm protecting my time, right? Because in this modern world, constantly people are constantly trying to take our time away from us. The phone calls, the text messages, the emails are constantly distracting us and throwing us off course from focusing on what we need to focus on, right? So block your time and intentionally schedule it. Don't schedule a training client when you're trying to work on your creative time, right? Be intentional with your time, use a planner, use a calendar, and stick to it. All right, so the next question I got is what is advice you would give to a young strength coach who is just starting out in this industry? And with 100% certainty, I would tell you, find a mentor and get some experience. For me personally, it was absolutely life-changing. Think, rewind 12 years, I was a freshman at UMass Amherst. I had no experience and no idea about anything that had to do with strength conditioning. And someone thankfully pointed me in the direction of Mike Boyle Strength Conditioning. And because of that, now fast forward 12 years later, I'm still there, right? And that's not gonna be like that for everybody, but being able to find a mentor, someone who's doing what you want to do, who can give you experience and guidance and take you around the pitfalls and mistakes that they've made so that you can be more successful is priceless, right? You have to get some skin in the game. And although you might think you know what you're doing when you're that young, you probably don't. And the experience and the guidance and all the people that I've met because of that experience, I can't replace. And so I would say go out, send an email, send a phone call, show up, put in an internship application and ask to go work. Okay, you might not get paid. You're probably not gonna get paid very much at all when you first start out. That's priceless. The payoff is gonna be years down the road. So go get some experience, volunteer. You're gonna end up learning that you either love it or you don't. And right there, that's priceless in and of itself. All right, so the next question I got is, would you recommend creatine supplementation for vegans and vegetarians? And generally speaking, I think creatine supplementation is great for everybody, right? It used to be one of those things people worried about the strain on your kidneys, but all the research since then has since disproven any sort of kidney dysfunction from regular creatine supplementation. Um, If you have any questions about supplements, I always recommend go to examine.com. They have the most up-to-date research compiled, so you can actually fact check all this stuff if you want to, right? Um, So when you look up Creatine, generally, you're going to find it's extremely beneficial for sports performance, as we know, but there's more and more research coming out about overall health and especially things like concussion rehab and how creatine's uh, been a valuable supplement for that, right? So generally three to five grams. I think for vegans and vegetarians specifically, because they consume less meat products, they probably could benefit from additional creatine supplementation. So yes, I would recommend creatine supplementation, regular creatine monohydrate. Don't buy any of that crazy stuff with uh, stimulants and stuff that you see at the store. All right, so this is probably the most common question that I get. And what's my top three books? And I'll tell you, number one, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Okay, this is a book you consistently reread. Um, And some people are turned off by the name. It is the best coaching book you're going to read. Number one thing in coaching is developing relationships and how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie is the number one book you can read. Number two, Go Wild by John Rattay is one of my favorite books that I've read in the last five years. Um, I would highly recommend you read that one, Go Wild. 
And number three, E-Myth by Michael Gerber, our E-Myth Revisited. That's the one that I read in college about how to build a business. And it's something that I put in my yearly review. It's a book I reread every single year to help me check in. And I'm continually getting new lessons even 10 years later. So I would say how to win friends and influence people, go wild, and E-Myth. Go check those books out.